G'day YouTube, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Combat Roo and today we're going to be doing a LSPDFR mod spotlight review. And pretty much what this video is going to consist of and many more just like this uh, is where I take a plugin or a mod that I use in my everyday patrol videos and we have a briefer look and a quicker look at the actual mod itself and its functionalities, you know, why we use it and how you use it and all that kind of stuff. The reason why I'm going to be doing a series on this is so that you guys, when you're watching my patrols, instead of me stopping halfway during a patrol um, and explaining how this plot plug-in works or what we're actually doing. You guys then understand the plug-in and the mod. Uh, you'll know pretty, you know, what the mod does and how it works and that way we can just focus on uh, doing our patrols. And it allows me to just free up a lot more time uh, with the recording side of things and we can focus more on call-outs instead of explaining every single step that we do. So today's mod we're going to be looking at the LSPDFR computer. It's current version 1.2.2 and it's created by Pi Argerd. I'll leave the link in the description down below for you guys to click on and go and check that mod out yourself and on the actual page of the mod itself it's got a uh, more in-depth description of features you know and all that kind of stuff that uh, the modder has um, put up so you guys can go check that out and just quickly gonna head out now we're gonna pull someone over randomly and we're gonna see the computer in action and we'll go over it quickly and see how it works. Okay, so I've just managed to pull over this baller randomly for no no reason, uh, but we're just going to show how the computer actually works. So if you're conducting a traffic stop, we'll get out and approach the driver as usual. This time it's got three occupants inside. Uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to ask for the driver's identification. You can ask for multiple uh, people's identification, but we're just going to focus on the uh, on the driver today. I'm just gonna, I'll just quickly move the vehicle out of the way just so we don't have to deal with idiots today. Traffic go through. Okay, so once you're in the vehicle, uh, what you want to do with the information given is hold E and it'll bring up the computer. Now the computer will start off with a login page which will have your username and your password already there. If you jump into the INI file you can customize it and put whatever name you want and whatever password you want. And all you have to do is log in. And when you log in it will bring you up to a main menu. The main menu will have a PED database, a vehicle database, a request backup and a logout. It also shows you the recent actions that you've done on the computer. So as you can see I've done some uh, previous traffic stops just to test it out and see how it works myself. But with that information uh, and the um, license that the PED's given you or the information that the PED's given you, you want to go to the, uh, the PED database tab and as you can see it'll automatically put in the uh, PED's uh, name and then all you have to do is just hit the search button and it'll search the database and it'll bring up the information for that person. As you can see it's the uh, person's name, date of birth, the citations, the gender, if the va license is valid, how many times it's been they've been stopped before and if they're wanted or not. You can further your investigation with the vehicle so if you want to find out information about the vehicle just go into the vehicle database and as um, before with the name it'll automatically put the license plate in and all you have to do is press search. That'll bring up the information about the vehicle uh, the license plate and whether it's insured or not and then who actually owns the vehicle. So as you can see the lady driving the vehicle actually owns the vehicle or it's registered to her. You can also request for backup. Uh, you've got a code 3 or a code 2 and you can select what unit type you want. Uh, but we won't need a backup today so we're going to jump out of that. Once you've, you're happy with the information and the information you've got, you can then uh, conduct your traffic stop further with that information. So what we're going to do, we're just going to log out, just put the log out button. We're going to get out and we're going to wait for this truck to go past so he doesn't run me over. Gonna go past, mate. And then we're just going to go back and we're going to give her, issue her a warning and then she can be off and we're just going to quickly jump back into our car and 
and that'll be that traffic stop. So as you can see guys, uh, with the LSPDFR computer, um, it's a lot more professional, it's a lot more immersive when you're playing, so you actually feel like a police officer actually typing in the database and, and doing some actual police work. It's not hard to install, uh, when you go and you download it, it'll come with an inst installation uh, guide, you can um, follow that and, and get it installed and have a play with it. But um, yeah, that's that's today's uh, mod spotlight. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you like the video and you want to see the series continue on, uh, just give me a like um, and leave a comment and let me know what you think. But um, I'm going to leave the video there guys and I'll see you back out when we're patrolling.